Welcome, welcome, welcome to the Boxing Bookie. We are back. We are back. It is good to be back. Uh, we got a good one for you today. We're going to get into uh, Connor Coyle and Kyle Lamate uh, in, in uh, what should be an interesting fight uh, between two prospects who aren't exactly setting the world on fire but had some eyes on them. I uh, wanted to get into this Uh Part of the lock. Uh, this is, a, a, I think, a good fight to bet on. Before we get into that, please like, share, and subscribe. Follow 3D Boxing, 3D Boxing Blog, or all forms of social media. The Boxing Bookie comes at you for every single major fight. So you had to consistently make money betting on the sport of boxing. The odds makers, the bookies, they don't know what they're doing. I do. Um, so join the Patreon as well. The link is in the description. It's also in that little ticket below. Just buy it all. It gets you all the perks. It gets you updated. Uh, it gets you the lock of the week. It gets you ask the bookie anything. I'll handicap any fight for you that you want. It gets you the updated prop bets as well. When the prop bets drop, come over to Patreon. We'll show you how to make money on the props. Um, also, subscribe to our channel, Texas Boxing Scene on YouTube. All proceeds go to autism research and recovery. All right. So, I want to get into this. And this is an interesting fight because... This is like a very like UK kind of British kind of other side of the pond type of fight. You got a undefeated prospect who's 34 years old. So he's already past his prime and he's still a prospect. Uh, kind of cool. It's not a terrible fighter. Straight up and down. Nice shotgun jab. He doubles it up well. Like I said, he's a 34-year-old prospect but with no power. I, I don't know exactly how far he's going to take this thing. Six foot tall. Uh, you know, not, not a horrible fighter by any means. Decent fighter. Pretty good skills. Um, likes to fight at long range, in the middle of the ring. He wants to keep you at the distance. Uh, you know, not a big puncher. Obviously, he's not aggressive. He's not looking to really sit down and and hurt you. He's looking at score points. Amateurish kind of. I don't want to say style. An amateurish view. He fights in in in, in a way that is meant. To do well in the amateurs, not necessarily the pros. He's not super athletic, but he is fundamentally sound, and, and that's about it. Uh, he's not a high volume guy. He's not going to overwhelm you with volume. He's mostly a jabber who will put the two and the three behind it occasionally, you know, every once in a while. Uh, he's composed and patient. He picks picks off shots well. Like he, whoever taught him to box taught him well. But there's just nothing next level. There's nothing out of this world about him. Decent hand speed can put shots together, and, and he can win rounds. You know, he, he knows how to box. He can. He moves his head fairly well. Uh, he doesn't sit down or, or really commit to anything hard. He doesn't really throw shots again. He's just looking to score a little pin and pad of shots uh, and, and win rounds. He can do that. You know, I'm not trying to disregard the guy. He can win rounds. He's not a very good athlete. He's not a big puncher. He's high level basic. His jab by far is his best punch. Good ring generalship. Uh, gets he, he stays in control, but there's really nothing special about him. He's, He's not next level. He's not a super athlete. There's no world-class potential to him. Uh, he's pretty accurate uh, from that long range. That's basically what kind of coil is. I hope that kind of paints the picture in your head of what exactly, you know, what we're looking at here with kind of coil. Kyle Lamoti, uh, boy, you look at this guy, you really saw it. Oh, broke my mic. Um, you, you look at a guy like this, Lamoti. And, and you really wonder how they got him to 12 and 1. I mean, I'm not trying to disrespect the guy. Uh, South Poor, again, 33 year old prospect, 12 and 1, uh, on the back nine of his career. And he is still a prospect. So it's interesting what they do with these guys. Not not as, as tight and a little bit wild, a little sloppy. He's not as tight. He's not as fundamentally sound as kind of coil. He is a South Poor, um, decent volume. He throws in combination, uh, but nothing on it. It is hard. He's sloppy. He can be hit. His head is on the line. He's easy to hit. He doesn't sit down and commit to his shots either. Uh, you know, he's got what? He had two knockouts in his 12 wins. Bet the over on this. Just take the over on it now. Willing to let his hands go and come forward. But he's easy to counter because he's not fast. Like, he's pretty slow, actually. Like, Connor Coyle is probably the fastest fighter in the ring. He's willing to come forward, and he's willing to bring the fight to you. He's straight in, straight out, and his head's on the line. So he's not difficult to hit. Like, he, he's going to bring the fight to you. I would imagine he brings the fight to Coyle. I, I think Coyle stands his ground and just tees off on him while Lamadi tries to get on the inside. I just don't really see this fight being that competitive. Um, like I said, he's slowish. Doesn't 
have a great jab. He doesn't utilize his jab much. He'll stand and trade. He'll try to come forward and try to walk you down. It's not going to work with a guy like Connor Coyle. He can cut up the ring pretty well. He can do that. Uh, you know, I guess his game plan is going to be to try to trap him, try to trap uh, McKenna. Uh, pff, McKenna. Try to stop Coyle. Sorry. Try to stop Connor Coyle. Uh, trap him in the ropes. Get him. Get his back to the ropes and and and, and outwork him and hustle and break him down. That would be the game plan. I would imagine. I, I don't see him having much success with that game plan. He's just. He's not that high level. He's not. I don't think Coyle's the greatest thing in the world, but he's a is a much higher level fighter than Kyle. Uh, Lamoti. So let's take a look at the bets. And I, and I wish there was a prop for this thing to go the distance. If you can find a prop for this thing to go the distance, just take it. Uh, Connor Coyle minus 1,200. See, that's getting a little better for us. I don't know why this is saying minus 1,400. Let me refresh. Let's see if they've changed this on us. And, of course, oh, here we go. All right. We're not going to touch that. We're just going to take the over six and a half. We can do that too. That's not a bad prop. Uh, that's not a bad bet to add to your prop. Minus 1400. Uh, it's only going to make you $7. A hundred dollar bet here is, oh, sorry, over six and a half. See how they just added those props over this video an hour ago? They wouldn't have had this. So, two and a half bet here on Connor Coyle. Uh, and Connor Coyle is something I always add. It, it, it went from minus 1,200 to minus 1,400, unfortunately. Um, also, do that too. Connor Coyle by decision, I think, is a good bet as well. Uh, I like uh, the over six and a half. I would just take that. I mean, I, I, that, that's a safe bet. I like that. He's not going to stop him early. Uh, I would take those two bets. Um, I would actually. Yeah, I would leave it like this. If for a parlay, throw Connor Coyle in. Have Connor Coyle um, bring down, help bring down the odds. It's, it's easy money. It's not as good as minus fourteen hundred as it was at minus twelve, but it's not going to change a whole lot. And I, I would make my larger bet. Uh, I would make my standalone bet over six and a half. I love over six and a half. That's why I definitely think this thing is going to go the distance. It, it definitely goes past six and a half for sure, for sure, for sure. Um, so I, I really like that. It's only a schedule eight rounder. So, um, if you want to take kind of coil by decision, you can do that too. Those odds are, are, are better. Those are the best that I would look at. I would look at kind of coil, kind of coil by decision and over six and a half. Um, you could actually split those up, make money on both. Yeah, wait, a two hundred dollar bet is going to make you 21, 61, 68. A two hundred dollar bet is going to make you 60, 68 bucks. If Connor Coyle wins this thing um, by decision, if not, you, you, you've hedged yourself a little bit, so it's not a total loser. But I think this is safe. I think over six and a half is completely safe. I think Connor Coyle by decision is totally safe. And Connor Coyle on the money line is obviously safe. It's just not very profitable. So there you go. Um, some gambling advice for you. It's an easy fight to make money on. Let me know what you guys think. Leave your thoughts, comments below. Please like, share, and subscribe. Follow 3D Boxing, 3D Boxing blog or all forms of social media join the patreon link is in the description it's also in the banner below please smash the like button on the way out please smash the like button on the way out it is august 2nd 2024 from texas to the world thank you and god bless don't miss a tweet post story or video 3d boxing is on twitter instagram and facebook Hit the subscribe button now to stay inside the ring.